Please welcome Television Academy Chairman and CEO, Frank Sherma. Good morning. Thank you for joining us for the 73rd Emmy Awards nominations announcement. Nominations announcements are always exciting for us at the Television Academy, but this year they are particularly heartwarming. These nominations represent the work done in television through the most challenging year I can think of, and all we want to do is celebrate them and all the amazing program that carried us through. Thanks to a giant effort by so many professionals from every trade in television, we can celebrate the stories, the jokes, tender moments, news, and pure fun from the last year that provided a lifeline for so many of us. And while many of us in our medium worked remotely throughout the last 18 months, I have to say it feels so good to be getting back on a set. Making great television is a collaborative group effort where the sum equals more than the parts. And I can't tell you how much I've missed it. And that includes the Television Academy's own special occasions. Even though we still manage to deliver all our events to our membership and industry virtually, we are thrilled that getting together in person is on the horizon once again. Virtual events kept us all connected when we needed it most. But I am ready to celebrate excellence in television face to face. To help us get this party started are two people who made Emmy history in 2020. They are the only duo around to win matching father-daughter Emmy Awards in the same year, which they won for their exceptional performances on Quibi's Free Ray Sean and NBC's This Is Us, respectively. Talent clearly runs deep in this family, and we are so excited to have them announce the nominations for the 73rd Emmy Awards. Coming to us from New York City, we have the star of Blind Spotting on Stars, Jasmine Cephas Jones, and here in the studio from the Apple TV Plus series, Truth Be Told, Ron Cephas Jones. Thank you so very much, Frank. I must say I'm feeling incredibly blessed this morning. It's such an honor to be here with you all this morning. Hey, what's going on, sweetheart? Hey, Dad. Hi, everyone. So great to be here. And not only is it an honor to announce the 2021 Emmy nominees, but I get to do it with my very own superstar daughter. <laughs> Dad, okay, you promised you wouldn't embarrass me, okay? I'm sorry, sweetheart, but we did kind of make television history last year. I mean, I know I'm partial, but I think your Emmy is the most beautiful Emmy in all the world. Aw, thanks, Dad. I mean, it is pretty amazing. And you know, my Emmy looks up to your Emmy very much. Oh, God bless you, sweetheart. Uh, wait a minute, which one? Because I have two. Oh, oh, okay, so you flex it yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, you know how we do, <laughs> Jones in. Okay, Jones in. <laughs> okay, I see. Well, in a couple of months, a bunch of today's nominees will get their very own Emmy to humble brag about. A whole new generation of Emmys. It, it's so exciting. All right, Dad. Well, let's get started. Let's do it. You the boss. Let's go. Okay, our first category is for Outstanding Variety Talk Series. Here are the nominees. Conan. Ever says something complimentary to me on the street, like, I really like your work, my children look at me like, what are they talking about? <laughs> <laughs> the Daily Show with Trevor Noah. You want to keep wearing them so that you get your money's worth, and I understand that. As someone who owns 743 hoodies, I'm wearing these things. Jimmy Kimmel Live. Russell Biden is our 46th president. It feels like, I have to imagine this is what it feels like when the oncologist calls and tells you the tumor is benign. Last week tonight with John Oliver. The Late Show with to Stephen show. Colbert. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Huge day in American democracy. First of all, it still exists. I would not have put my money on that. Congratulations to the nominees for Outstanding Variety Talk Series. Our next category is for Outstanding Competition Program. Here are the nominees. The Amazing Race. Nailed it. RuPaul's Drag Race. What happens here or online 
Don't let anyone make you feel like a loser. And I'm proud of each and every one of you. Top chefs. Best chefs have traveled to Portland, Oregon for what will surely be an epic culinary showdown. The Voice. It's just Nick's an incredible baseball player. I do, I play baseball, yeah. I didn't know that. We're not playing baseball. We're in a vocal competition. Hi. Congratulations to the Outstanding Competition Program. Nominees, what do we have next? Next, we have the nominees for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series, and they are... Ada Bryant, Shrill. Kaylee Cuoco, The Flight Attendant. Allison Janney, Mom. Tracy Ellis Ross, Blackish. Jean Smart, Hacks. These are the nominees for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series. Congratulations. And now here are the nominees for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Comedy Series. Anthony Anderson, Blackish. Michael Douglas, The Kaminsky Method. William H. Macy, Shameless. Jason Sudeskis, Ted Lasso. Kenan Thompson, Kenan. These are the nominees for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Comedy Series. The next category is Outstanding Comedy Series. Let's check them out. Blackish. You can clap with your heart. You don't mean that. No, I don't. <laughs> Let me hear it. Go, go. Hey, hey. Cobra Can't Kai. Run away from your problems. <laughs> I might never be able to. Go ahead. Never. Can't. Those are just words. They're meaningless. Emily in Paris. Has anyone noticed this is a very dysfunctional workplace? I think you're the one bringing the drama. Hex. Explain to me that I'm making your life hard. You don't even know what that means. Oh, good, my ride's here. The flight so attendant. Not, like, actually in trouble or something, are you? No, I'm uh, hungover in Thailand. The Kaminsky Method. Well, Sandy, sweetheart, I never fell out of love with you. Really? No. Pin 15. <gasps> That's good. No, no, really. Oh, my God. No, no, no. Ted Lasso. Hey, hey, one last thing. And I want everyone's eyes on me when I say this. Look at me. Congratulations to all the nominated Outstanding Comedy Series. Let's see who the nominees are for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Limited or Anthology Series or a Movie. Paul Bettany, WandaVision. Hugh Grant, The Undoing. Hewan McGregor, Halston. Lin-Manuel Miranda, Hamilton. Leslie Odom Jr., Hamilton. Congratulations to the nominees for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Limited or Anthology Series or Movie. And now I have the nominees for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Limited or Anthology Series or a Movie. Michaela Cole, I May Destroy You. Cynthia Arrivo, Genius, Aretha. Elizabeth Olsen, WandaVision. Anne Taylor-Joy, The Queen's Gambit. Kate Winslet, Mayor of Easton. These are the nominees for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Limited or Anthology Series or Movie. Congratulations, everyone. 
Next up, we have the nominees for Outstanding, Limited, or Anthology Series. Here they are. I may destroy you. Where rules, clarity, law, and separation cease to exist, we will show you exactly what we mean by violation. You're pushing everyone away. Mayor of East Town. Including you? No, I won't let you. The Queen's Gambit. The Underground Railroad. You keep telling me how special I am. What good is a railroad if only special folk can take it? WandaVision. <laughs> My wife and the flying saucers. My husband and his indestructible head. Congratulations to the nominees for Outstanding Limited or Anthology Series. Next up are the nominees for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Drama Series. And they are. Uzo Aduba in Treatment. Olivia Coleman, The Crown. Emma Corrin, The Crown. Elizabeth Moss, The Handmaid's Tale. MJ Rodriguez, Pose. Journey Smollett, Lovecraft Country. These are the nominees for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Drama Series. And now, here are the nominees for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series. Sterling K. Brown, This Is Us. Jonathan Majors, Lovecraft Country. Josh O'Connor, The Crown. Reggae Jean Page, Bridgerton. Billy Porter, Pose. Matthew Reese, Perry Mason. These are the nominees for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series. Congratulations, everyone. Congratulations. Okay, here's our final category for the morning. Outstanding Drama Series. Here are the nominees. The Boys. Bridgerton. There is nothing you cannot do. The Crown. How many times can this family make the same mistake? Paying the consequences each time. The Handmaid's Tale. Lovecraft Country. He's beating up. What's he doing? I don't know. The Mandalorian. Bo Katan sent me. We need to talk. Pose. And who are you to come for me when you have half the wisdom and half the brain cells? That ain't fear. I wanted to help. You know what I'm going through. And this is how you do me? This is us. I want them to know their dad sees greatness in them. Congratulations to the nominees for Outstanding Drama Series. And of course, congratulations to all the nominees for this year's Emmy Awards. You can find the full list of nominees online at emmys.com. Be sure to tune in for the 2021 Creative Arts Emmy Awards, airing on Saturday, September 18th at 8 p.m. on FXX. And join us for the 73rd Emmy Awards, Sunday, September 19th at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific on CBS. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. And have a great day, everyone. Sweetheart, this has been a joy. I, I'm, I can't even begin to stop crying right now, but uh, I love you very much. You are so beautiful, and I will see you on the flip side.
I will see you on the flip side too, Dad. Love you so much.